Hello and welcome to this video on Spanish pronunciation. On this video we're going to focus on consonant sounds um, and specifically on those consonants that sound the same or that are pronounced the same in Spanish and in English. Okay, so this is the easy bit of Spanish pronunciation, the good news. Okay, let's start with the first uh, The first letter that sounds the same is this letter, F. Okay, we call it F in Spanish. Words that contain this letter, there are plenty. One of them could be, for example, faro, faro, which is the word for lighthouse. Another one could be, for example, foto, foto, which, yes, means photo. Okay, faro, foto. Another letter that's pronounced the same in Spanish as in English is this one, which in Spanish we call ca, okay, ca, listen to it, ca, exactly the same. Words that contain this uh, letter are, for example, ketchup, ketchup, or Afrikaans, okay, ketchup, Afrikaans. If you look at these two words, you might notice that they don't sound very Spanish. They are not, th these words are not Spanish in origin. And in fact, you generally speaking, you won't find a, you won't find a K in words that are Spanish in origin or Latin in origin. Okay. You'll find it in words that come from English, that come from, um, German or other languages, not words that are originally, um, Spanish or, or, or Latin. Okay. Another letter that's pronounced the same in um, Spanish as in English is this one, which we call M. M. Okay, M. Examples of this are, for example, imagen, imagen, or mano, imagen, mano. I don't know what's happening with my pen, sorry about that. Imagen, mano. Okay, same sound. Imagen. As you might have guessed, means image. Mano means hand. Okay, imagen mano. Another letter which is pronounced the same. It's this one. N. N. Okay. N. A very common uh, word that contains this letter. Nombre. Nombre. Okay. N. Nombre same sound. Here I'm going to make a little, I'm going to mention something for those of you who might be more, more advanced learners. Okay. And what I wanted to mention is that yes, most of the time, probably about 90% of the time, this N will be pronounced N exactly the same. However, sometimes um, you, you will find some words. Ex um, examples of that are, for example, the word banco. Banco, um, where if you hear this banco, banco, it almost sounds like an N and a G. Okay, banco. This is because it's followed by a C. Okay, it banco, nombre banco. Okay, it's got a slightly different sound. The only reason for that is because of the, the same. The, the next letter is a C, pronounced K, and because of the way the place where your mouth articulates this sound, it would be very strange to say banco, banco, it would feel very artificial, okay? So it's banco, okay? So if you hear this this sound, this N pronounced a bit more, mm, it's completely normal, okay? So we've got nombre banco sometimes, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? But if you're a bit of an advanced learner, you might have noticed and you might have been wondering, okay? Next letter, next letter that's pronounced the same is this one. B, B, okay, B. Words with this letter in are, for example, puente, Spanish for bridge, or aplicar, aplicar, to apply, or to put on, okay, a puente y aplicar. We've also got S, S, okay, examples of that are sal salt, y esto, this, okay, sal y, oh, sorry, I need to underline this one, sorry, sal y esto. Another example is this one, elle, elle, 
which we find in, for example, yate, the Spanish for yacht, yate, okay, yate, or playa, yate, playa, as you can see, same sound. And finally, the last um, letter, the last sound I would like to look at is this one, cu, okay, cu, which in Spanish often you'll find written like this, cu, okay, it's a Q, cu. Um, again, it's the same sound, which you'll find in words like, for example, porque, porque, okay, porque, or aunque, porque, aunque, or aquí, okay. Now, this Q in Spanish, you will only find it or, or cues, you will always find them followed by a U, okay? You will find in Spanish Q-U-E or Q-U-I. These are the basically the only two combinations you will find them in. Q-U-E, Q-U-I. And in both cases, this U is silent, okay? This U is silent. So you we don't say aquí, we say aquí, sorry. We don't say aunque, we say aunque. We don't say por qué. We say porque, okay? So this um, this you hear is silent. We don't hear it, okay? Porque, which means by the way, uh, because, aunque, which is however, aquí, which is here, okay? And this is it. These are the eight sounds which are the same in Spanish as in English. Thank you for listening.